Hello everyone, welcome back to our course on computer vision. I am Kausal Tupadi, your instructor, and today we are going to talk about arithmetic operations in OpenCV, or you can say arithmetic operations in while doing image processing. Uh, arithmetic operations basically like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And uh, we will see how we can apply these operations in our images and uh, filter out our images, optically process our images to uh, further you know make our model better so all of these things that we are studying right now and uh, all these things come under pre-processing of the images so that uh, those whatever the uh, area or sections that we need most inside the images we can work on those sections so these are all the pre-processing inside of the images so that later when we create our models based on these images they work uh, amazing they work better than the not that they work earlier in those normal images. So let's see what we can do with these arithmetic operations. So let's get on to our spider ID and see this amazing stuff. Okay, here we are. This is our uh, general program. With the I am read and I am show and wait to and install Windows function. We have imported two libraries, CV2 and NumPy as NP. Okay, and uh, this time I have taken uh, two photos or uh, images. One is OpenCV logo and another is Messi 5 JPG. We can also take our image 3 as uh, Lena1 read Lena1.jpg. Okay, so we have taken three images here. Uh, three images. And let's see if they are working just fine. Let me show you what are the images. Okay, uh, there they are. One is this OpenCV logo. Second is this Messi. And uh, third is our Lin. Okay, so these are the three photos are over here, which you are going to work on. Okay, so now uh, I was thinking about uh, applying arithmetic operations like multiplication, addition, subtraction, division. So these all these operations are applied basically on the pixels on the colors uh, indexes that we put like if i say right now image 3 is equals to uh, okay let's create another image image 4 is equal to what is the image 3 is image 3 is equal to image 3 uh, let's say plus 100 okay now let's run this whole code control a you see here what happened with the image what happened basically is all the colors that were present over there uh, their values were increased by the hundred all b g r at every pixel their values whatever the values were present over there they are increased by hundred and uh, if you want to test it i can show you right now uh, just close all these okay uh, I, i'm going to put it in another variable let's say image 4 and this is image 4 on our on page 3 and if i press f9 Okay, I want to display that image, but if you come to this variable explorer section and you see here, our image 3 has values around 128, 138, 225, right? And when I have added 100, what the value become? 128 becomes 228, 138 becomes 238, and it was already max, so it reduced, and then 127 becomes 227, 137 becomes 237, and accordingly everything. Is working now. If you've seen 225, in the case of 225 is uh, 255 is the highest value. Okay, so what it does basically this kind of addition, what it does, yeah, it is a little bit of a you know, not just not very accurate addition of uh, images. So basically, what it does, what it did, it go up to 255, means like added 30 over there, and then it again start from the zero and add the rest of the extension. Okay, so it reached up to the 60, it reached to 69. Okay, that means first it goes up to uh, 255, that means uh, 30 points, 30 points it increased, and then from 0 to 69, that means 70 points from here. So it's like a bit created a cycle of it and went back to 69. So that's why this kind of an operation is not much more suitable. 
I will tell you what is the best way or better way to use addition. I would not call it best because anytime a better version can come. But right now the better option is, I will tell you later. But uh, let me tell you something right now with this one thing only. What if I want to do a multiplication? So same thing as a, with a multiply. If I multiply it by 2, all the values will be increased by 2. Let me show you. Okay, wait a minute. Let me see the dot. I am sure. And I am going to frame 4. From image 4. Okay, so let's run it. We've got four images over here, and same thing has happened again. All the pixels are multiplied by two. If any, if any pixel is like 138, it will be increased by two. That means it becomes 276. So, and 276 greater. So, what happens? It will again loop back into the cycle and goes to the lowest point. So that's that's the problem with these kinds of arithmetic operations. And you can apply all those all the operations with this method. Okay, you see here the values become values becoming zero. The values, all the values are getting reduced. You see, this is the problem with, a, with this kind of an operation with them. But these operations also exist and they also work. If your value is not exceeding 255, they will work perfectly fine. And as the value increases to 55, they will stop working. These are like they have the lim limited area of uh, like working. So these are the general way of working. With these operations. So now let's talk about the better version of it. Okay, so let's say uh, I want to add to the addition. Okay, so I would simply say image 4 is equal to, and there is a method inside of it cp2.add. And now we can write image 3 plus enter. So I not press over here, it will be comma. And if I run this line of code right now, and you see, this time what happened, all of its intensity is, uh, means you know, it becomes more brighter, this image becomes more brighter, because there is a lot of a blue shade around here, that, that's why it goes up to the purple section, because it keeps on getting a lighter and the purple is lighter than blue. And uh, if we check out its variable explorer section, we will see over here, that when now we have added 100 this time, 225 remains at the and 138 is 138 and uh, one, but 128 becomes 228 127 becomes 227 over here and rest of all means you see the only index let me show you in the full picture uh, okay wait a minute and this image okay these are our two images image 3 which transformed to image 4 when we added 100 so what happens is you can see uh, 100 is added to only the blue index. The first index, very first index, you know, that is blue color. And 100 is added only to that index. The rest of the indexes are the same. But 100 is added to this blue index. And that's why, if we see our image over there, over here, let's run it again. And you see our this frame over here, it becomes, it looks a lot bluish, a purplish color. Because all the intensities of the blue color becomes increased by 100. So, this is also not a very good reliable method, I say. Because we are only increasing the intensity of one color, but we want to increase the intensity of the all colors so that our image, uh, so that we can process on the image uh, much better way. So let's remove it. And so to do so, that thing uh, we create. Uh, now we can't enter uh, some kind of a number over here so to increase the intensity of all the images. What we do is we create our own image, an empty image, let's say, np. Uh, Create an empty image. There is empty uh, np dot zeros method over there. Image for uh, let's say image five is equal to np dot zeros, and we're gonna create this image with a sh shape size of image three. So I'm gonna write it image three dot shape comma. We're gonna give it a data type np and date. Q and 28. Okay, so we have provided data type, we have provided shape, and our one of our images is created. But this image will be look black. It has all the values of zero, and we want to uh, uh, wait a minute. Let me create it with the ones. Okay, we have used zero. Now I'm going to show you the ones. That's why I've used one this time. Okay, what ones will does? It will create a image with of size, uh, of size of image three, which will be 512 by 512, and uh, with all the values filled by one. 
and then what we are gonna do is we are gonna do mh5 is equal to mh5 and uh, we are gonna multiply it by 100 so now let me show you what happens uh, let's print show that image also cv2 dot i am show frame 5 image 5 okay and uh, i'm gonna put image 5 over here okay so what happens is here we have given image uh, 3 all the values as 1 and then we have multiplied by 100 so what happens all the values of the, all the indexes becomes 100 and now when we will add these two images let me show you now this is our frame 5 which has all the values of 100 okay so let's close it we have not seen this image okay now this is our main image and this is the image where all of its colors are intensified okay we are in the computer in our photo editing version you can say we have increased the brightness of the image by just increasing the intensity of all the colors inside of that image you see this this section looks a lot whitish and becomes a clear white color and same things are applied over here all of these colors are intensity of these colors are increased by 100 so this is how and we can see it over here also in our section image uh, uh, let me close it then only you can see it wait a minute yes our image 5 is created with all the indexes of 100 100 100 and if you can see the image 3 when added with the image 4 all the indexes are increased right now okay and you see here 225 when added with 100 it didn't convert it it didn't reach to the lowest lower version lower indexes but it stops at the 255 at the final point or at the ending point it does not uh, like uh, started from again zero and counted to some number it did not do that otherwise it would have shown like 74 something over here but it just stopped at 255 and that's how we increase uh, this is the only way of increasing the brightness what you see in your mobile phones you in photo editing tools you increase the brightness or you know brightness of something that's how it happens Okay, so this is the uh, addition. You can also edit, edit add uh, other uh, image like uh, you want to add OpenCV logo.png in this image. So what you have to do is, again, you have to, when you add to image, you have to have the same shape. You need to remember one thing. Adding to images requires same shape. And if you want to check the shape of image one, uh, let's say image one dot shape. And if I run this whole line, uh, you see the shape of the image is 739 by 7, 600. And if I check the shape of image 3, oh, oh wait a minute. Uh, it, uh, 512 by 512 is the shape of image 3. So we need the same shape. So either we can change the shape of image 1 or we can change the shape of image 3. So let's change the shape of image one only. Okay, so to change the shape, we use this cv2 dot resize method, and for that image one equals to cv2 dot resize, and the cv2 dot resize takes two arguments. One is the name of the image that we are changing and uh, resizing it, and the second is the uh, index. What we, how much uh, the size, sorry, shape, basically we can, I will call it 512 by 512. Okay. Now I can add image one over here. Let's say image one. And if I run this, I remove the frame five. We don't need it. You see, this is the our frame four where we have added both the images. But you see, uh, this lena is like almost hidden inside of this. Mostly is covered by the white section, so you can't see it much properly, and it isn't working much. It isn't looking much good. So let's uh, so you know now. What we want to do is we want to give higher priority. We want to set the priorities to which image should have higher priority and which image should have lower priority. And that's where the thing comes like weight to which we are giving the more weight weightage. So there's another method called cv2 dot add weight. Wait a minute. And in weighted we provide uh, it uh, like uh, two uh, what's say two more arguments 
one is uh, um, both the arguments are like uh, the you know in hundred percent like I want to give it uh, image three or fifty or sixty percent you know weightage and image one as forty percent weightage. So same way we are going to write it over here like uh, it we have provided image three as zero point seven means seventy percent weightage and another one we have provided zero point three. You need to remember their sum should be equal to one. In the same way 70 plus 30 becomes 100 same way 0 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3 should become 1 and there is also one gamma is there to add some scalars and mostly we keep it 0 now if I run this image let's see what happens okay okay add weight total wait a minute add weight is okay I'm missing something over here Yep, it was capital W. And now you see, earlier we were having, uh, you know, we couldn't see even Lena over there, but right now we can see Lena and OpenCV both. So this is how we provide the weightage to an image. You know, we have provided a little bit higher weightage to the uh, Lena image, and that's why Lena was, uh, we can see almost clearly somewhat. Not, it looks like a little bit translucent, but we can see it. That Lena is somewhere over there. We can see it come the complete image and also the open CV over here. So this is the add weight method and we, we, through which we provide the weightage to some image. Now same way you can also use subtract method. You can also use a uh, multiplication, addition, uh, division. All of these things can be applied and same thing. It will work on the pixels and it will change the value of those pixels or uh, those uh, BGR indexes and. Uh, uh, create uh, give you a new filtered image okay so this is all in the uh, arithmetic operations you see I have basically focused on add weighted but uh, you can also try subtraction there is no subtract sub weighted there is no subtraction the weighted okay this subtraction like it removes one image from the another image and uh, also there is a multiplication it uh, mult you know it's just everything and you need to understand one thing in this or whatever is happening in the method they are working on these pixels values bgr values and you say add they will add you say multiply they will multiply the values you know mostly multiplication cases they becomes all to 55 and image become white and same thing the division is becomes all darker so these are all the things uh, in the arithmetic operations keep practicing it try subtraction multiplication and division if you find any problem just put it in the comment section we will help you asap Okay, or if so most of you will face some problem, I'll make another video on it. Okay, so try try it on your home. See you in the next video.